Hello students, welcome. Today we'll see a JavaScript validation concept uh, into a form field. You can say pin code. Okay, we'll check whether uh, entered pin code is uh, proper or not, or whether it allows if it passes the validation phases. Right. That means uh, the pin code should be of uh, um, integer numbers only. The pin code should be there, not a blank one. You can say then the pin code should be between number six and eight as it uh, is usual. OK, so we'll start that uh, concept over here. So before starting, I will request you students to subscribe to the channel, take me urgent and press the bell notification icon so that you can make available of these uh, new added videos of uh, IT subject into uh, HTML programming, Python and class 11, 12, Maharashtra board, ITCS videos, right? So, and like the video if you like it and definitely share with your friends. Students. So we'll start over here. We'll first of all, save uh, the, you can say uh, video, uh, sorry, this uh, uh, you can say file as JavaScript validation one dot HTML. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll make as HTML and uh, pin code validation. Okay. Actually, this program students is taken from your test book only of your class 12 HSCID Maharashtra board. You can say of science section and uh, advanced JavaScript. So we are learning over here now this. So pin code validation. Okay. That is JavaScript validation. We will see over here. Now, first of all, for this, we have to take a form because uh, pin code is in the form. And uh, after that, to validate it, we need a button, right? So form, then form name is equal to, you can say FRM1, okay? Or FRM, you can say, or FRM1, we take it like this, okay? Right? So like this, and uh, you can say, and you can mention it over here like this. Mm. JavaScript validation, right? JavaScript validation, then form, okay? JavaScript validation and form. So now we have taken form. Now we have to take a text box, okay? Right? We will take a text box. You can say enter pin code like this and uh, an input tag input text is equal to uh, sorry input type is equal to you can say text right and then uh, txt1 or txt pin code you can take it out like this okay that's done now now you can take a uh, uh, br okay br you can take it like this now the button okay type is equal to you can say button okay name is equal to you can say uh, take it as a uh, submit and uh, value is equal to submit and then on click you can say you have to mention the function name that you will take in the script tag to check the validation for your txt pin code right so we have done till this and uh, let us uh, specify the name but first of all for, for that we have to declare in the, the script tag so we have done this now what we'll do is see we have taken a you can say a pin code okay and we have taken a h1 uh, make it uh, okay it's not a necessary one so we have taken heading, then this, then this button. And now we'll take a script tag because you know that in script tag only we can mention the, or we can define the uh, JavaScript functions or we can execute inside that only JavaScript. So now what we'll do is validate, uh, you can say pin code, right? We'll take like this and we'll do like this and we'll call like this. This we will take over here will paste it over here okay that means when we submit the button this on 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 click method this method should called up right that is defined over here so what we'll do is we will take a variable to declare 
uh, pin code then what we'll do is we will uh, put all the uh, you can say frm1 dot txt pin code right the value we will take and dot value like this okay so this done that means this form inside this forms this pin code that is txt uh, this you can take the value of this and store into this variable pin code that is being declared over here right so now we will check for the condition that i told previously for a pin code or to a valid pin code or not if pin code you can say dot len gth length right equal to equal to zero okay so what you will do is if it is equal to zero we will throw an alert uh, specifying as uh, please enter the pin code okay like this please enter the pin code or please check you can say like that but i am mentioning over here is this like now what we'll do is you will uh, make a frm1 dot focus function okay focus function you can take okay but uh, for what for the txt pin code means you have to maintain the focus retain the focus to the pin code right of the form so we have taken this now we will take as else if uh, you can say again pin code uh, will be checked over here but uh, now what we will check is number is it a number or not like this so is integer is it an integer then only please proceed further else reject it or throw an error like that throw an alert you can say right so pin code if it is this then else is done now what we will do is we will make some alert okay alert that please please enter the pin code in numbers right in numbers now again it's uh, done okay again what i will do is i will take the same code that if it is not if it is uh, the, uh, not properly validated or it is not following the conditions criteria for this number then again go to that focus and again let it enter the user now what we will to check is if pin code uh, you can say dot le and gth length is less than 6 or pin code greater than 8 okay pin code dot dot length greater than 8 right then what you will do is you will throw an alert right what as pin code length not between 6 and 8 numbers like this okay or range you can say now again you will make the copy paste part again you will retain the focus then you will make uh, in the else part if all these conditions if it satisfies that means if the pin code length is uh, not empty that is if the pin code is not empty if the pin code is a number if the pin code is between this and this okay that means it will not connect to this code right if it is not following then only it will come to this okay else what it will say that see there is no error and the password uh, sorry and the pin code has been accepted like this okay alert that pin code is accepted okay so we have completed over here now this okay so we have completed this now we'll check the output see over here we have script now can we close the script tag also so now what we'll do is we'll check the code okay that is we will run it and uh, let us experience this see over here yes uh, 
suppose you can this and submit okay it's not working students why it is so we'll check it out see over here the submit uh, button okay on click it's a method okay so the attribute should like this should be like this and over here the parenthesis should be there okay this could be a mistake now we'll check it out this is the mistake actually not could be a so now we'll uh, take this and make submit see over here it is saying that length is not between this and this right then if we make a blank see please enter the code and if you uh, take uh, some valid pin code between this then see it shows pin code is accepted okay students so we have done the javascript validation form validation you can say for a particular single field if you will comment in the comment section that uh, please uh, uh, please make it out for uh, many uh, fields or a form that is a full input uh, validation form you can say user entry form with uh, input uh, controls with uh, attached with the validations i will make the video for that also right so till then students uh, i hope you enjoyed this video like the video if you like it enjoyed it and uh, definitely subscribe the channel bell the press the bell notification icon and uh, share this video with your friends till then thank you have a good day see ya